start the show at an exhibition on rock art that's being held at the Alliance Frances. The exhibition titled A Window to Africa's Past has been put up by Tara, an organization that has realized the value of rock art in Africa for the present and future generations. Our biggest uh, goal and, and, uh, and, and our mission is to create a, uh, an awareness, a global awareness, uh, and especially an awareness in Africa of the importance and the endangered state of Africa's rock art heritage. This exhibition is a celebration of the beginning of visual forms of art by our forefathers. There's no substitute for being at a site because you know what we're looking at here uh, is it's symbolic, uh, a lot of it, uh, but perhaps most important of all, it, it is to do with spirituality. And there are cases uh, in Kenya, for example, on Mafangano Island, where the, the Suba people are actually still using the paintings there for rainmaking rituals. Uh, and we believe that the art uh, goes back more than a thousand years. This suggests, since the Suba have only been there 200 years, that they have actually uh, taken on that, uh, inherited that sort of heritage. Africa's rock art is the common heritage of all Africans, and this makes up for one of the oldest and most extensive records on earth of human thought. Is, uh, it, it's, it's a part of who we are, it's, it's a part of our, a very important part of our history. Uh, rock art is like a communication with the past, it's, it, 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 in fact it is arguably some, one of the very first forms of communication as well as artistic expressions. It gives us glimpses of our ancestors' earliest beliefs, it shows us how uh, they saw their world, how they saw themselves in their world and in the cosmos. You know. Uh, and uh, you know you you see them see humans in relation to the environment to, to animals to other situations this exhibition also goes to show that preservation of these works of art can help educate as well as provide evidence of human imagination through rock art the past becomes tangible while giving historians a chance to understand the present in relation to the past Rock art was first discovered 18,000 years ago and most of the art is still visible today. We get rock art pretty much scattered over the whole country. The, the, the most rock art is uh, in the north and in the west. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rock, what we call rock engravings, which is where people have actually scratched or etched the stone. <coughs> uh, that's up around Lake Tukana in the northern Chalbi Desert, <coughs> really not far from Ethiopia. And uh, there's, there's a lot of that quite similar style. We don't really know who did it. I think it's about one and a half thousand years old. <coughs> uh, otherwise, in the west of Kenya, uh, in the Lake Victoria Basin, uh, for example, Mafangano Island, um, but also uh, south of Mount Elgon, near Bungoma. In Kenya, there are various sites that have this great exploration of history through art. This exhibition is meant to help create awareness of the fact that we as Africans have very many similarities. Kenya is an interesting situation because, uh, rather appropriately, since it sits on the equator, uh, it, it, it sits on, on the sort of watershed of, of rock art styles and periods, well, styles anyway. And for example, you know, if you go to the to the north, Kano, where I was saying there were all those engravings, we were called engravings. Um, those engravings are very similar to what we've seen in parts of the Sahara and parts of the eastern Sahara. Uh, and uh, if you go to the northern part of Mount Elgon near Katali, you will see uh, pastoral art, what we call pastoral art, with showing cattle and people, uh, which is very very similar in style to what you find in the Horn of Africa. 
it also brings to light the fact that visiting these sites holds more significance to discovering where African art originated from and how it has influenced our artists today. I am happy to hear Ambassador saying that hopefully it will be extended also to Namibia. Why I'm saying so is you get one of the oldest rock arts in Namibia. In fact, the first time I was introduced to rock art was when I visited the Bushmen Caves in Namibia in 1989 as a person. I'm not just getting out of the speech a bit. And you see, rock art or some of these things remind us where we came from. And as Ambassador put it kindly that she's ready to collaborate with our ministry. We are really looking forward to collaborating with you, your excellency. This exhibition, A Window into Africa's Past, runs till the 31st of March.